what you eat. The human mind. Who knows what secrets it holds? Today, I, Dr. Skullin' Boy, will find out with the pumpernickel test. Oh, man, I didn't know there was going to be a test. It's not that kind of test, Len. Frank is right, Len. It is a test made from bread I have here. A simple sandwich which can tell us things about ourselves that we might never know. Like where I put my first aid kit? No, Misery. Like why it is you lost the first aid kit in the first place. Oh, okay then. Misery, what do you see in this strange shape? Ooh, this is easy. That's... Ah! A pile of ashes. Frank, Len, how about you? Oh, wow. I know what that reminds me of. One of those, oh, you know, sandwich thingies. Peanut butter and egg. No, Len, that's not it. That's just gross. Yes, well, um, Miss Ruby, what do you make of this innocent luncheon leftover? Well, actually, Skullboy, I see, um... Ja? <laughs> they seem to be... hearts? Hearts? Uh, artichoke hearts. Yum! Anyone else hungry? No. Nope. Nope. Well, yes. Okay. There you have it. Uh, artichoke hearts. Oh. Good day. Nice indeed. Yeah. Very, very nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yes, it's nice. It's so nice. I'm going crazy! 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 Did I scream that out loud? Well, I know I could use some excitement. Yeah! Me too. Yes! Did someone, I'll say, did someone mention the word excitement? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Gilbert and his fabulous flying flea. Well, we're working on the ending. We'll be ready in time for the big show. You can count on that. Are you putting on a show, Skullboy? I have come to realize that I must be related to the great showman, P.T. Cranium. The famous circus master. Exactly. So I decided to put on the Gloomsville Pet Circus and Talent Extravaganza. A pet circus? What a great idea. Whoa, excellent. Len, we better start training our pet. Yeah. Oh, Squig will be over the moon. And I mean that. I'll have the dust bunnies ready to go. Uh, I hope. They've been a little surly of late. Wow, Doom. This will be a great challenge. Yeah, I'm sure we're up to it. Right? Oh. Good idea, Doom. You rest up and I'll go figure out the act. Good luck with your pet, Poe. Yes, right. <laughs> My pet. No, oh, dear. Now, I know what you're thinking, Squig. Is this trick too simple for my talents? Well, that's why you're going to do it blindfolded! Oh, my goodness, what a pet trick that will be. And Squig is so obliging. Not bad for an extremely large worm. Hmm. Excuse me, have you ever considered life as a pet? Ah! I'll take that as a no. Now then, pay attention, everybody. I'm sure we're all familiar with the Siege of Thermopylae, right? <laughs> you will be the savage Spartans defending their homeland. Think you can handle that? 
Hmm. Well, how about that? I guess you can. Now let's see if we can do Hannibal crossing the Alps. Oh, those dust bunnies are amazing. And there are so many of them. Misery surely won't miss just one. Go. Oh. Now, where were we, you clever, cute little... <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> this could be a problem. Gilbert? Guys, where are you? See, Doom? A nice sardine. All you have to do is rehearse. Not hungry, huh? Hey, I've got a fun idea. Look, fetch. Hey, don't worry. I'll get it. Oh, hi, Poe. Doom Kitty and I are doing some, um, training. Ah, looks like things are coming along well for the big <laughs> show. You bet. How's your pet doing? I have something of a, a delicate nature to tell you, Ruby. Yeah, um, well, you see, uh, your Doom Kitty there is a truly a wonderful pet, and, uh, why, you and she, yes, uh, friends till the end, and, uh, um... Poe... Are you trying to tell me you don't have a pet? You've never had a pet? And you would really like to have a pet now? Um, yes? Wow. I can't believe you never had a pet, Poe. You would make a great pet partner. Ah, yes, undoubtedly. But alas, it was not to be. Why, I remember life as a young bird. There was no room for a pet, really. Please, sir, may I have a pet? No! Well, that, um, certainly must have been awful. Well, <laughs> perhaps it wasn't quite as bad as all that. Yes, it certainly must be wonderful to have a pet like Doom. Someone to love, to take care of, to fetch things for me. Or rather, to fetch things for. Look, Poe, I'm sure we can find you a pet just as clever as Doom. <gasps> Do you really think so? Of course. Hey, since you like Doom so much, why don't you get a cat too? Why, that's a stellar idea, Ruby. Yeah, but not a little cat. No, no, no. Um, a cat that uh, befits my abilities. Yes, a big cat. Ah, yes, it's it. A great big cat. I say, I say, Gilbert, son, where are you? Who would have thought it would be so hard to find the right pet, Len? Yeah, I forgot we didn't have one. Okay, let's look at the basics. What is a pet? Okay, um, a pet is something that you love and take a big interest in, I guess. That's it, Len. You're a genius. I am? No, not technically. But listen, music! Uh, I don't hear anything. You stopped strumming. No, Len. Rock music is what we love and are interested in. That's our pet. Okay, but we can't teach our music to sit up or roll over, Frank. No, Len. Not rock music. A rock! A pet rock! <laughs> yep, this is the one, all right. What shall we call him? How about... Fluffy! Wow, that is so weird. That was my first idea, too. But now, I'm thinking Rocco might be better. I like it. Simple and to the point. Hey, Poe, what do you think of our new pet? No time to talk now, fellows. I have to go and get my new pet. Oh, man, don't tell me Rocco has fleas. Oh, we, we better give him a flea bath. Gilbert! Where are you? Ah, at last, my new dearest pet cat has arrived. Caution, big cat. Well, of course it's a big cat. That's what I ordered, didn't I? Can't really make this part out. Tigris Gargantuas. Hmm, must be his name. Now, where are you? Gosh, <laughs> sure is dark in there, isn't it? Tigris? Oh, oh my, you certainly are a big one, aren't you? What on earth do you have in your mouth? Piano keys? <laughs> no, can't be. They're too sharp for that. Where well, they must be... 
Tea? <laughs> In hindsight, uh, I'd have to say that the bird-cat relationship thing was doomed from the start. Have you seen my monocle? I think it's on top of your head, Poe. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I often leave it there to uh, remind myself to... Um... So, what next? Well, how about something, you know, smaller than you? Yes! Excellent idea, Ruby. How about Abner? He's pretty small. Yes, Abner! Oh, but he'll have to do a pretty huge trick to offset his diminutive stature, you know. Why, I have an idea. Now for our own trick, Doom. How about jumping? Jump, Doom! Jump! Uh, I don't think the bath helped much. Well, he looks a lot better. Yeah, it sure is great having a pet, huh? Kind of makes you feel good. <laughs> well, inside, anyway. Look out! Huh? huh? Look out! Okay, okay then. then. Squeak! Squeak! Are you okay? Oh, oh, thank goodness you're all right. Are you guys okay? I think so. Frank, where did Rocco go? Rocco? Oh my gosh, we dropped him! Yeah! Rocco! 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 Uh, we'll just leave you guys alone. Hey, Squig, wait up! Now, Abner, a souffle is not a terribly difficult dish to prepare, but it is very, very impressive to see. Watch closely. First, we take some butter. Maybe making a cheese souffle was the wrong trick, Poe. I'll never find a pet now, never! In a million, billion years will I not find a pet. Now, Poe, don't exaggerate. Never! There's still plenty of time. <sighs> oh, why do these things only happen to me? Rocco! Rocco! Achoo! Who's a good word? Here, Gilbert! Achoo! Oh, please, little dust bunnies. Give it one more try. Hmm? For me. <laughs> I know it must be difficult with me sneezing all the time and you weighing, well, nothing really. But it's really. How's it going, guys? Squig's working so hard, I have to get him some water. I can't control my sneezing long enough to rehearse. Well, you could try covering your nose with something, like a surgical mask. That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> Sorry. See ya! I know I have a surgical mask here somewhere. Aha! Okay, guys, we're good to go. Uh, guys? He's gotta be in here somewhere, Len. Is this him? Uh, don't think so. Well, I think he's still pretty good. Maybe better than Rocco, even. <gasps> there will never be another Rocco, Len. Oh, yes, there will. And I will call him the Mighty Feldspar. Hey, look, it's Rocco. Hey, boy, where you been? Ugh. Bad Rocco, bad. Well, I say out with the old and in with the new. The Mighty Feldspar should be our new pet. No way, Len. We stick with Rocco. There must be some way we can decide this. There is. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh. No luck, huh? It would seem that no single creature on the face of the Earth wants to be my pet. Is that exaggerating again? Yes, it is, Poe. There's no sign of Gilbert anywhere. Looks like I'll have to cancel the show. What? No! They were the main act. No, oh, he's right there, Ruby. You can't have a show without a headliner. Tough luck there, skull boy. But what about the show must go on? A highly overrated sentiment, that. I don't know. Maybe she's right, Poe. Sure I'm right. After all, what would P.T. Cranium do? Become an astronaut? No, he would let the show go on. And since I'm related to him, that's, I say, that's just what I'm gonna do! <laughs> Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Get ready to be amazed at all the wonderful pets, each with their own amazing feet. Frank, Rocco doesn't have feet. Quiet, Len. Maybe nobody will notice. Here's our first team, Ruby and Doom Kitty! Come on, Doom. This is where you juggle. Look at them out there, having so much fun. I can't believe this. Where could those fleas have fled? Well, at least you had some pets to lose. Please welcome Frank and Len and the incredible Rocco! Hello, Gloomsville! Oh, will this night never end? I... I, I can't believe this. Where could they be? Never mind, Skullboy. You can finish the show without Gilbert. Wait till we get out there and... <laughs> Jump! <laughs> Come back, bunnies! Oh, great! On top of everything else, I get chicken pox! Oh, Gilbert, where are you? We're on! Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the flea circus is at the moment, oh, unfortunately, flea-less. <laughs> uh, I regret to inform you that this itching is driving me crazy! <laughs> Gilbert, you're back! <laughs> No, <laughs> oh, if only I had a pet like that. A quiet animal that's always right there at hand, ready to go, that sits there beside you, perhaps in a tall chair, silently waiting. I believe the term is Eureka! Ladies and gentlemen, a new last minute entry in the contest! Poe and his new pet, Mr. Buns! <laughs> oh, I must avow, partner to esteemed Buns right now. What sayest thou with the little brow? Can you take a bow? You wow. And so I must, for myself, a bow. Allow. The family, I mean the judges, have made their decision about who's to get whacked. I mean, who won the competition? No disrespect intended, but the fleas missed the triple loop and therefore lose marks for technicality. <laughs> Plus, we couldn't really even see them. Now, Ruby did a superb job juggling, but technically, Doom was the one registered as the pet and not Ruby. So they must be disqualified here. Finally, Poe and Mr. Buns, on account of the fact that they didn't mess up and that that poem made me, well, <sighs> emotional, they win. They won. I mean, we won. We won, Mr. Buns. We won. And what did you think was the highlight of the show? Mm, I thought Mr. Buns was fabulous. I'd just like to thank you for giving me the opportunity of working with Mr. Buns. Well, I think... No, please, don't say it. Didn't anyone notice me? You? Of course, Poe. You and Mr. Buns go together like pancakes and syrup, wieners and beans. Apple and crumble? Sure. Apple and crumble. Thanks. I feel much better now, Ruby. <clears throat> Albeit a bit peckish. Anyone for some apple crumble? Well, uh, since you ask, I could be persuaded. Brainwashed. You know, I find that I come up with my best inventions when I'm getting ready for bed. 
Who knows? Maybe tonight I'll come up with my best one yet. <sighs> Head buffing is so boring. I wish I could do it faster. better. Man, if I've used this once, I've used it a thousand times. Much faster. Okay, this is too big. Wow, that's really clean. Funny, usually I have my best ideas at night. Ah, oh, well, tomorrow's another day.